Thank you for choosing to watch this video about ways to raise your social quotient and identify your social needs. First things first, let's talk about what social quotient is before we get started. Your ability to engage productively with other people and to successfully manage relationships on both a personal and professional level is what is meant by the term social quotient. Social quotient is an indicator of how well we get along with others. It serves as a gauge of our social abilities and emotional intelligence. A high SQ is especially more crucial in today's digital environment, where we contact with people online more frequently than in person. A high SQ enables us to negotiate the complexities of interpersonal interactions and communication. It enables us to effectively communicate, develop positive relationships, and work together with others. It also helps us understand our feelings and those of others. Luckily, SQ is something that can be developed more over time. Here are some suggestions to assist you in improving both your social quotient and your ability to communicate effectively. First and foremost, make it a priority to develop your active listening abilities. Active listening is a crucial talent that entails paying close attention to what the other person is saying, comprehending the information that is being communicated, and replying in a manner that adds something of value to the conversation. Both the quality of the relationship you have and your ability to communicate will increase as a result of this. Active listening is a crucial talent that entails paying close attention to what the other person is saying, comprehending the information that is being communicated, and replying in a manner that adds something of value to the conversation. Both the quality of the relationship you have and your ability to communicate will increase as a result of this. If you're enjoying this video, then subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Second, develop your capacity for empathy. Understanding the emotion of another person and being able to put oneself in their position are essential components of empathy. Because of this, you'll be able to improve the quality of relationships you have and the talks you have with others. Third, be conscious of your own feelings and reactions. It is essential to be conscious of your own feelings and the ways in which those feelings influence the way you interact with other people. Because of this, you'll be able to better manage your emotions and be more aware of the impact that your words and actions have on other people. Later in this video, I will give you some tips on how to be more aware of your feelings and your social needs. Learn to deal with the pressure you're under. Stress may be a significant barrier to both our relationships and our ability to communicate with one another. You'll be able to handle conversations and relationships far more effectively if you learn how to manage stress. Lastly, make sure you take care of yourself. Self-care is absolutely necessary for leading a happy and fulfilling social life. This involves getting enough sleep, eating healthy, moving your body on a regular basis, and finding time for leisure and pleasurable activities. By putting these suggestions into practice, you'll be able to raise your social quotient and become a more effective communicator. You can have happier, more meaningful exchanges with other people and improve the quality of your relationship with them if you put in the effort and have patience. Figuring out what your social requirements are is a necessary step in the process of preserving positive connections with the people in your environment. You may strengthen your connections with other people by devoting some of your time to understanding your own requirements and how they function within the framework of your existing relationship. The following is a list of suggestions that can assist you in determining your social needs. 1. Give some thought to how you're feeling. Pay attention to how you feel with other people as well as how you feel when you're alone. When you're around other people, do you get feelings of energy and connection? Or do you experience feelings of exhaustion and isolation? This can help you better comprehend the urge you have for engagement with other people. 2. Consider the things you want to accomplish. What do you hope to achieve with the relationships you have? Do you want to meet new people and expand your social circle? Or do you like spending time with a select few people that you already know well? Once you have an understanding of your goals, you'll be better able to identify the kinds of relationships you require. 3. Give some thought to a relationship you had in the past. Consider previous romantic partnerships and evaluate the factors that led to their success or failure. Which kind of relationships did you find most enjoyable? And which ones were the most difficult to maintain? Thinking back on previous relationships might help you choose what you want out of the ones you have ahead of you. 4. Communicate with reliable individuals. You can acquire clarity about your needs and the roles you want to play in relationships by talking to people you can trust and who have your best interests at heart. Inquire about the ways in which you manage relationships and how others think you could improve in this area. 
Figuring out what your social requirements are can assist you in developing more meaningful connections with the people in your environment. Spending some time thinking about your emotions, objectives, and previous relationships can help you get perspective on the kinds of connections you are looking for and the needs in your life. Talking to dependable individuals can also assist you in gaining insight into your relationships and providing guidance on how to properly manage them. I hope you found this video helpful and that you now have some ideas on how to improve your social quality and understand what you need from social engagements. If you want to learn more about social intelligence, how about you check out this video next? Thanks for watching.